Having a hard time with fractions? Hello everyone, welcome back to Quick Math Solutions, the answer to your math problems. Today, we'll make fractions super easy. No more confusions, no more headaches. Now, we're talking about adding fractions fast with unlike denominators. Before we handle different denominators, let's start with the easy case. When fractions already have the same denominator, you simply add the numerators. For example, 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7. Step 1. Add the numerators. 2 plus 3 is 5. Step 2. Keep the denominator the same, which is 7. Final answer. 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7 is equals to 5 over 7. Simple, right? But what if the denominators are different? Like this problem, 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4. That's where many students get stuck. But today, I'll show you a super simple way to solve it. There are four steps to solve these problems with ease. Step 1. Find the least common denominator or LCD. To do this quickly, multiply the two denominators. In our problem, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, the LCD is 12. Step 2. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. In our problem, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. This gives us the first numerator. Maybe you will ask on why do we multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. It is because of the LCD. Whatever we multiply the denominator to reach the LCD, we must also multiply the numerator by the same number to keep the fraction's value the same. For example, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, and any number multiplied by 1 is the same. Makes sense, right? Step 3. Multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. In our problem, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. This gives us the second numerator. Step 4. Add the two numerators we just found. In our problem, 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. And that's it. 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4 is equal to 17 over 12. Easy, right? Our answer, 17 over 12, is an example of improper fraction. And while it can be expressed as a mixed number, we will save that for another video where we will focus on identifying proper and improper fractions and learning how to simplify them. And that's it. Fractions don't have to be scary anymore. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment your own fraction problem below for me to solve in the next video.